Hello guys and welcome to the channel again and this video I'm going to show you how to resize your image and you can resize it to a certain size so it can comply with the requirements of different websites or if you just want to have it take less room and still keep the same quality. This is going to be real simple, it's going to take a few seconds and I find this is the best way to do this. It's easy, it's free and it doesn't take more than like one minute. I hope you guys like this. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos, click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Of course, if you got any questions, let me know in the comment section below. All right, let's get started. This particular image is 16 megapixel. If you go to the image information, you can see that it's 5312 by 2988, which gives it roughly 16 megapixel size. But if you want to make it smaller, for example, you got to upload it to a certain website and it's got to be smaller size. I'm using the program called Infan View, and I actually did a review about the main features of this program, what I like about it. You can also check it out in the upper right corner and I'll leave a link in the description as well. So you can can check it out when you want to resize the image you just go to the image menu then go to resize and right where it says set new size you can either type in the required megapixel let's say we put a 2000 it's gonna automatically adjust the height because it's gonna keep the same aspect ratio this is if you want to go in pixels if you want to go in centimeters you can do that as well and if you find the inches is easier for you then you can do that so this is one thing you can just resize it to whatever size you want Let's say you put 4000, it's going to make it smaller. You can also choose this option. Let's say you want to have like a half size of the original one. So you just put 50% of the width is going to do the 50% of the height. And this checkbox here gives you an option to preserve the aspect ratio so that your image looks exactly the same. If you untick this box, you can change the height freely, but keep in mind your image is not gonna look exactly the same. It's gonna be a different shape. So I usually keep the aspect ratio the same. This way I'm not gonna have any issues with the file size. Or you can also choose from one of the preset settings. Let's say you wanna have like an HD, you can choose 1280 by 720, which is a common size for the YouTube thumbnail. You can even choose the best fit the desktop. It's gonna cut off all the extra and it even gives you an option for 8k but 8k is actually bigger than the original size so it's not gonna work you can also do a half you can do a double but this is not the topic of this video i just want to show you how to resize it so let's go ahead and choose for example i want to resize it to 2000 pixels width and it's gonna give me 1125 height so i'm just gonna press ok so as you can see my image instantly became smaller I don't have to scroll as much and what you want to do you just want to go to file then save as and then here you just gotta put a name let's say 2000 pixels click save let's close it and see what we got here so as you can see i got the 2000 pixel over here and it's only 2 megabyte versus the original one which is 16 megabyte and that one was a 16 megapixel so now I'm going to show you two pictures, one after another, and let me know if you actually were able to notice the difference. So let's do this right now. So you have probably noticed this is a resized 2 megapixel image versus 16 megapixel as you can see everything looks way sharper you can see the all the trees look sharp everything looks sharp the mountain looks sharp but when you go to the 2 megapixel one everything kind of looks a little bit blurred out in the background this is how it's done and you can even resize this picture even smaller and what it's gonna do it's just gonna decrease the color bit depth and it's just gonna make the colors less vibrant not as much color information per pixel you're gonna have a little bit flatter image but it's gonna way even less and I have a video how to do this on my channel so you can check that as well the link is in the upper right corner and in the description as well so check it out please and if you have any questions let me know if you find this video helpful please click that like button subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new videos and I'll see you guys soon bye bye <music>